Today for writing, we are going to practice writing captions for pictures. And we've seen captions in some of the nonfiction stories that we've read, but we're going to try to write some captions for garden stories that we just had today as our story. Now, just to review, a caption is a short explanation or description of a picture that's located near the picture. And it can either be above the picture, below the picture, or beside the picture. We're going to use our captions below our pictures today. And the information included in a caption is, is very detailed and specific, but it's short and it's to the point. And a caption doesn't always tell the whole story. It often is accompanies a story. It's part of a story. It's used to explain something in a story. So, as an example... We are going to write a caption for the bramble bush that was in our story. Remember the bramble bush in our story? Um, the big, fir, big beautiful fir tree said that it was useless and that no one cared about it. And um, we talked about how a bramble bush means that it's a bush that has thorns or stickers in it. Um, so that's probably the information that we want to put in this in our caption so that someone understands exactly what a bramble bush is or something specific or special about a bramble bush. So let's say a bram I'm going to misspell again a bramble bush has thorns or All right. And that's just as short as a caption has to be. You want to tell something specific about the picture. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to write captions for the fir trees. Remember, fir trees were the ones that never um, lost their leaves. They always stay green. Sometimes they're called evergreens, actually, in the story. You're going to write a caption for reeds. And remember, the reeds were the um, plants that grew in the wetland, almost looks like a tall grass coming up out of the water. And you're going to write a caption for the olive tree. And when I read this story for the first time, I guess I had never thought about it before, that an olive is actually a fruit. So an olive tree is a tree that bears the olive as a fruit. And it is also always green. That's what we learned about it in our story. So those are some things that you might want to include in your captions. Um, like I said, captions are short explanations of a picture that's located near a picture. So just a short one sentence explanation of um, fir trees, reeds, and olive, the olive tree as your assignment today.